Okay, hello guys. I'm a little sweaty. Uh, my room is hot, and there's not really much I can do about it. So, we're going to start a game called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. So yeah, let's start. This is like a pizza. Okay. Pepperoni. I like pepperoni. <laughs> I hope you can see my face. I hope this isn't... Uh, whoa. Should I throw pizza? That's a little weird to throw pizza with shift. No. This game is pretty fun. Fuck. Round two. Wow, oh, I can get a lot of pizza. So that's how that's what I have to do. I have to go up here. Uh, there right now. He's pretty slow, but he's still pretty fast. Which is stupid. Oh, you hit him to stop him! I'm throwing uh, teddy bears now. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I don't want to play this game. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Um, oh. Oh no. Please don't. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, <laughs> two, one. Yeah, let's go. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If audio you are playing stimuli. this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. You are Begin not to audio return. prompt in three, two, two, one. This is first one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I don't like this. One of these times it's gonna jump at me, and I swear to God. Document results. I'm gonna look down and just grab Begin me. audio prompt in three, Fuck. two, Fuck. one. It's still, still. It's gonna be the last one. I know it is. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? I'm already freaking out, and I barely started the game. Oh, I, the horror document games are good for me, guys. I swear to God. Data documentary results. And the light is giving dim. Begin audio light. prompt in three, mind. two, one. No, no. Bitch. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. <sighs> it's time to take your career into your own hands. All right. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with me. a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? Sorry, but We're talking about becoming hot. a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. 
and that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. <laughs> a small but room. But don't forget about the money you had left <coughs> over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear face? Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day. Saving money, more money for nerds, in your guys. Pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming that's, to be the case. Uh... This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, <laughs> you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile Fuck. with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Okay, so if I disappear... Or I die, or I'm dismembered, you can't, you can't do anything about it. Use catalog mode to purchase items that I'm trying to use. Blueprint mode to place items. Okay. Let's create things. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. That should Yo, be more than enough. Yo, $100. Now let's get wow. started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button <coughs> labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. Okay. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Okay, let's get a single stage. Let's get some gold cups. And let's get us some balloons. There you go. We're good. I don't have any animatronics to put there, yeah. I just got that thing. Go right here. Boom. Play test. What's this? Whoa! <laughs> Faz rating. So I can just play a balloon game. Pretty good, pretty good. It's finished. Let's continue on with the scary stuff. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. Fuck you me. have a lot of work God to do damn it. while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. No. From your terminal, you have supplies no. to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Look at that picture. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. 
You can increase the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. Most likely. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Oh no! Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Why is it getting hot? Oh, because I don't have any air conditioner. What the fuck? Why is it? Let's order some pizza kits. Dude. Freaking the fuck out. Are there cups. I don't like this. I don't like this. No. What are plates? I thought I heard something. You know what? <laughs> I can live without, without it. So much noise, and I don't like it. Let's scan so I can see if anyone's in the vents. Okay. Wait, I have to... Repent them. Why is it so loud? So, I assume it's not, it doesn't have anything. It's just gonna get harder to. Uh, I was, I, I played one Freddy Fast for, what, like, one, not Five Nights at Freddy's game. First one. Scare the absolute fucking shit out of me. I'm glad that this guy is able to have an air conditioner, because I don't have one. Because I'm Carefully. That's good. That, that doesn't make any noise. Why is this room just during? Why do I have these massive freaking air vents just here? Why? No motion detected. It's blinking. I do not like this. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. 
don't like this. I don't like this. I hate this. I hate this. Fuck Congratulations me. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. And that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep God. it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming Fuck. it as salvage. Fuck. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, you your move? company issued taser to return the animatronics so to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I don't like this. I don't like this. Why did I choose to salvage it? It's because I'm a money hungry piece of shit. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, did one. Did it move closer? Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Fuck. It's getting closer. I feel like it's getting closer. It's just me and me. Document results. lawsuits fuck let's get the ball so we can have a little bit of liability risk Excuse me. Discount cooling unit. Okay, Bob. Mr. Candy. Mr. Hugs. <coughs> wow. Could be something hiding in this thing. No. Now I can add an animatronic, but money cost. Okay, let's go ahead and buy the um, one of these animatronics over here. Spy cooling unit. Spy. Oh, Mr. Hug. 
Oops. Okay, hello guys, I'm back. Uh, recording kind of got, got fucked a little bit, but it's alright. It's alright. Last thing I was doing was doing this stuff. Add coin slot playtest. Let's do this. Whoops. What is wrong with me? Okay, we're done with this fucking testing bullshit. That's... Is that what they're doing? They're jumping into it? Who in... What world would allow their kid to jump into a fucking... A little box? Fuck. Dumb broke your dumb motherfucking bat. Woo! Fuck, I'm sweaty. <laughs> go we good we good so that is definitely okay look what we got here Yo, my dude. i don't think this has any risk does it oops okay, I'm good. <sighs> we're gonna salvage again but i could i need to be a little bit more careful now oh, fuck this part again my as you can see my hair is coming out of my fucking thing because how freaking scared I am. Put that shit on. But what is this? Okay. I didn't hear him. <laughs> Hold up, let me wait, let me fix my fucking <coughs> It wasn't really that scary. And lots of fun. 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 Fun, 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 fun. Is something gonna happen? Why, why am I sitting here? Why am I? It's getting faster though. I gotta throw that because uh, I was gonna be messing. I guess we can buy more stuff, can't we? Oh wait, did it did it give me all of my money back? No, I still have everything in place. And from what I can see, we can probably test out the game too, so we'll see what this game's all about. Play test, yes. Let's go. Let's go about 
Yeah, buddy. I suck at it, but I do like It's pretty cool. I don't know what the significance of the game is, but I imagine there is some significance. Sponsorship deals. Let's try this again, guys. <coughs> Hold up, wait. Let me, uh, Let's go. So, ventilation. I'd rather have a motion sensor. So, definitely, something is. Definitely going through it. Turn up my game. Oh, I gotta turn up my game. No, I don't like this. I heard a beep. I heard something. I hear it. Which way? I hear the motherfucker. Just don't know which way he's coming from. Good to go. My earphones aren't that great. I can't hear left and right, so I just hear it. The fuck is laughing? It's all that. Back away, back away. Back away, back away. Okay, good. So I can hear him laugh. I hear wrestling, I hear wrestling. I hit Fuck! <clears throat> That's why I didn't want to turn up my volume too loud. Ah! But I have to because I have to listen! <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> That's it for today's episode. I'll see you guys next episode. Yeah, boy. So I think because I missed the salvage, that the guy is inside the building because I fucked up. I think that's what it is. I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video because... Peace.